Melissa. How are you today? Good. How are you, Larry? I'm doing great. So how long have you been a CAP Youth intern at this location in Elmer? Well, Elmer, I've only been for this year, but last year I worked at Springfield Library. That's good. I was at Springfield not too long ago to visit Olivia and Colleen, and we had a great time. That's great. So what do you like most about being a CAP worker? Um, I really like being able to teach people things and giving them the opportunity to learn new skills. I've heard a lot of that from some of the other CAP workers. They really enjoy meeting a lot of new people, and they get a lot of new opportunities to learn most from being a CAP youth worker. Mm -hmm. I've learned that people learn at different rates. So one person may be able to pick up the computer and whiz around, and he's a computer genius, but others just take a little more practice. That's true. It's taken me a lot of practice to learn how to use computers. Christine did teach me some typing skills, <laughs> and Quincy taught me about all the different databases that the Elton County Library offers. Um, a lot of the other CAP youth workers have also been telling me all about the cyber camps. What are some of the cyber camp themes that you have coming up here in Elmer? Some of them include a robot camp, a mythical creatures camp, and there are some board game days. Board game days? That's a great idea. I know at some of the other libraries, they also have Wii days. Do you do that here in Elmer? Unfortunately, Elmer doesn't have a Wii, but if we ever got one in the future, I'm sure that would make it a great cyber camp. <laughs> that would, for sure. So what are some of the lesson topics that you have done so far? Some of the lesson topics are email, internet use, and many Microsoft programs. That's true. Brandy was telling me about the PowerPoint program that she uses that a lot. So now I get to learn about it too. So what other kinds of programming do you get involved in here at the library? Well, we have done a bracelet making day. And we do several crafts during our cyber camps to coordinate with the season. Um, we actually just did a cool leaf craft, and it was with tissue paper, and it shines through when you put it up on your window. Oh, that sounds good. And we are now getting together with the supervisors and the branch staff and our Elmer supervisor, and we're doing a hair and nails day for girls. That sounds like a lot of fun. I don't know if I really have any fingernails to paint, <laughs> but I wouldn't mind coming around to watch one of these activities. Well, we just had Ontario Public Library Week this past week. What did you guys do here in Elmer to celebrate that? Well, we did several little contests. We did a guess how many candies are in the jar. We did a bookmark page guessing. So we put a bookmark in between one of our biggest books and patrons from the library had to guess what page it was on. And the closest one won a prize. That sounds like a lot of fun. Um, so how did you incorporate the CAP program into Ontario Public Library Week? Well, to incorporate the CAP program, we also did another contest called Where in Canada. And so we picked different libraries from all over Canada. And then we had people guess which one they could use their knowledge of where things were around in Canada and using the computer to figure out where the library was from. That sounds like a really creative idea. A lot of the other CAP workers I've talked to really enjoy getting to apply their creativity to their job. What other ways do you apply some of your own creative ideas to the programs that you develop? Well, our creative ideas include making fun cyber camps for kids. Mm -hmm. We update our display TV provided by Service Ontario and we tell the patrons what's coming up and we make it creative and colorful and fun for everyone to watch and see what's happening. That sounds like a lot of fun. I really wish that I could be a cap worker, but I don't know if people could take me seriously. <laughs>